I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. Today I'm participating in DIY with Nadia's Read Wednesday. I am so glad you're here. Let's get crafty. For this wreath, I'm going to use the 14 inch form from the Dollar Tree, the one that has the four rings around it. Just ignore that other ring in the background. I wasn't sure what I was going to use at that point. And then this rug I got from Five Below for $5, and it's all denim jeans cut up and woven into a rug. Oh my gosh, what a great deal. I just cut the black threads and pulled out the strands, and then I got out my square and I measured six inches. I decided that would be the right length for each piece. And I started cutting and I cut them all and I actually had to peel some more off because it was really hard to know how many I really needed. And I never did count them, but I didn't use anywhere near the whole rug, not even close. Because I only made them six inches, I didn't want to tie them. Denim is so thick. So I kind of twisted it around and put hot glue in between. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one around the end two circles, the middle two circles, and then the inner two circles. And I'm going to alternate back and forth, back and forth. And that will fill in everything. And it really, really makes it nice and thick. And it's time consuming. Just put on some music or a video. And there I am, not quite halfway done. The back looks woven the way I'm doing it. This is called a rag wreath. And then there I am completely done and I'm loving it. It's so thick and full and oh, I love all the different colors of denim and different threads. So cute. Got this sign at the Dollar Tree. It says God bless America and it's got the cute little red truck with the flag in the back. And what I'm going to do is take some jute twine. I'm going to put it around each side of the top piece there and I'm going to kind of hide it in between the little jean rag rug ties and I'm going to put it around the back and tie it and that will attach it at the top and once I get that attached I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom and just go through that little chain that's holding the truck on and attach that around the back and you won't really see those they're just really nice and secure and I just kind of pull that God bless America sign up a little so the denim isn't covering it there I am putting the uh, jute in to that hanger so I can get that attached as well and I'm going to cut off the excess. And I really think that this wreath needs a bow. And so I'm going to take a bunch of different ribbons and I'm going to make those, you know when you fold a ribbon so it looks like an awareness ribbon and then you bring the center down? Well, that's what I'm going to do because that's a ribbon I know how to make. And I'm going to use some jute just to tie around the center. And I'm going to do that with several different types of ribbon and then make each one a little smaller than the one before it. And then I will use a chenille stem and attach them all together in the center. And when I get them all put together, I think I'm going to do four different kinds of ribbon here. Some patriotic and then the one burlap. Then I'm going to use a really pretty little burlap lace type of a ribbon to wrap around the center. I'm also going to take uh, two really thin type of ribbons. I'm just going to create tails with those. So that way I don't have to do more ribbon if there's enough as it is right now. And now I've got the chenille stem and I'm attaching them all together. And then, like I said, I'll add those other little ribbons to make more tails. And then I'll take another stem and I'll attach it to the entire wreath and that will be it. Oh, I will dovetail the ends and make sure that they look nice and tidy. I'm seriously thinking about doing a DIY and making my own bow maker because I do struggle with these things. And I think that would make this so much easier. Keep an eye out for that someday soon. And of course, you've got to fluff the bow, so I'm doing that right now, but I'm going to have to do it again anyway once I attach it to the wreath. I just wanted to see what it was going to look like before I added those little extra tails on. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's interesting, and it's got nice color, and I think it looks really great with this wreath. You guys will have to tell me what you think. I absolutely love this wreath. It's just, it's got to be my favorite, really. It's so cute, and uh, I'm definitely keeping this one. <laughs> I've already had people say they want it, but I'm keeping this one. And here I am attaching it to the wreath with the chenille stem, poking it through to the back and then twisting it real tight.
Today's video is a collaboration with my dear friend Nadia from DIY with Nadia and she does Wreath Wednesday every Wednesday and invites someone different to join her. Her channel is so much fun. She makes all kinds of DIYs, farmhouse, seasonal, and of course wreaths, lots of wreaths. You name it. She has a wonderful personality. She is beautiful and her little animals appear in her videos and oh my gosh, they are the cutest little things you've ever seen. Please go over to Nadia's channel and show her some love. Be sure to let her know that Lisa Marie sent you. She also has a second channel called Coffee with Nadia, which is a lifestyle channel. And on that channel, she does tablescapes and shopping hauls and all kinds of fun things. Her video from today and both channel links will be down in my description box. If you came over from Nadia's channel, I just want to say welcome and that I'm so happy you're here. I hope you'll consider joining me on YouTube by hitting the red subscribe button and then turning on the notification bell so you always know when I have a new video coming up. I do all kinds of DIYs in different styles. There's something for everyone. This wreath is going to be made out of one ring from the 3D wreath form from Dollar Tree and these little like ladybug wing looking pinwheels from the Dollar Tree. I'm using my tin snips to pull off the little wings and I have that in my Amazon store. All my supplies that I use regularly will always be down in my Amazon store. And now I'm just putting them on a piece of cardboard to figure out how big I should make each of the little bodies. So I'm using this little container I have and I'm tracing out circles. I'm gonna make eight of them. And then I have this really nice cardstock uh, scrapbook paper and I'm gonna cut the circles out. I'm gonna use my premium decoupage solution and I'm going to attach them to the scrapbook paper and then I'm going to cut them all out. Once I have them all cut out, I'm gonna take my brayer and I'm gonna rub over the top of them to make sure that they are very well adhered to the cardboard. And then I'm gonna take this poly rope that you can get in the automotive section at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut pieces that wrap all the way around each of these circles and I'm gonna hot glue them on. And I'm only gonna show you one, but I'm gonna do it to all eight of them. Now I'm going to take two wings at a time and I'm going to hot glue them together. I want them to look like they're in flight. So I'm going to lay each set of two over each other so I can try to get them pretty much the same exact size. And once I have done that, I'm going to take those little circles and I'm also going to do the same thing and hot glue them to the back side or the underside of the little wings so you just see that little part of the black body coming through and then I'll lay it on top of the next one so I can try to get them again about the same size each and I'll do that to all eight of them. Once all of those are done I'm going to put that little piece on top of some more cardboard and draw out kind of freehand like a head. And once I get the shape I want, I'm gonna cut that out with a utility knife and then I will use it to trace and make seven more so that I have eight of those. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with that same scrapbook paper, adhere it using the premium decoupage and then I'll use the poly rope in black and put that all the way around with hot glue. And then I will hot glue those to each of the little ladybugs and now they will not only have wings, but they will have a head and a body. This whole thing started when I saw those pinwheels. I immediately knew what I was gonna do with them and it's coming to life here and it's really fun when you come up with an idea and then you can make it work. I'm using my little snips to take those wires that are holding the wings out and I'm kind of bending them in because I don't want them in the way. I want to be able to put the heads on and not have the wires sticking out. So I just did that with all of them and then I hot glued the heads on like I mentioned and got those wires out of the way. I was going to snip them off but I was kind of concerned that the shape wouldn't hold. Now I didn't have any black chenille stems so I used yellow ones and a black permanent marker and I just colored them and that's how I made their little antennae. And then I just curled the tops and cut them out and I'm gonna hot glue those to the underside of the head so they're sticking straight out which you will see here in a moment. And they are so cute. The only thing is I really needed to wait for them to dry because I got black permanent marker all over my fingers. That was not fun. <laughs> I have this black and red kind of, it's almost like buffalo check 
uh, mesh that I got at the Dollar Tree a long time ago. And I only had this one little roll and so I really had to make it work. So I created a little loop and I had cut up some red chenille stems and I wrapped them around the ends of the loop and then attached them to the ring. And then I pulled another couple, maybe two and a half inches, made another loop, wrapped the little chenille stem around that and attached it to the ring. And I literally do this all the way around the entire thing. And then I stretched it as far as I could to make sure that it would fit. And fortunately, the little ladybugs cover any of the gaps. So that worked out really well. But I thought just to fill in, I wasn't sure what would show in between. So I wanted to make sure that there was some red and black in there. And this just was the perfect solution for that. Now I'm going to lay the ladybugs on there. Basically their head will be facing out and their body will be facing in. And I'm gonna hot glue them. And now that mesh gives me something to hot glue to as well. So I'm gonna do that with all eight of them. And then I'm gonna turn them over and secure them even more on the backside with a little more hot glue. And then I have this red steering wheel cover that I bought at the Dollar Tree. And I thought I can cover the back of that ring with this so that it will make the back look a little nicer. And it gives me one more surface to hot glue everything to. So I I took out some of the thread and I got rid of some of the gathering on just one side of it. And then I hot glue each little piece to it, turned it over, added a little more hot glue, put a red chenille stem as a hanger, and then it's ready for me to add a little sign to the front of it, which we are going to do in a special little DIY within a DIY. <laughs> I'm gonna tank a little square plank that came in a six pack from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna find the center and then I'm going to use utility knife and just cut it in half and it cuts pretty easily. I just turn it over and score both sides and the edges and then it breaks right in half and then I just kind of clean up the edges and I'm gonna go ahead and use this to make one thin longer little sign. I didn't have a piece of scrap wood that was just right for this. I'm gonna use a little bit of my tight bond adhesive which is really good and it works great with wood and all kinds of surfaces. And then a little hot glue for the immediate hole. I'm gonna use a nail file from the Dollar Tree to sand all the edges. I'm gonna get some scrapbook paper for my first layer. This is gonna be like paper crafting. So there's my first piece. And then I have a friend who has a channel who does some amazing paper crafting things. Her name is Linda at Faith Chick 777 DIY by Design. And she takes her little scissors and she scrapes all the edges of her paper and gives it texture. And I wanted to try this so bad. So that's what I'm doing. And I will link her channel down below. And now I'm going to take that paper that I've scraped all the edges and I'm going to put it on top of that piece of wood that I assembled. Then I'm gonna cut out another piece of scrapbook paper using that same piece of wood as a template, but then I will take my paper cutter and make it a little bit smaller because this will become the second layer. So I'm gonna do that, scrape the edges on that. I'm not gonna show you, but I'm doing it. And then I'm using my brayer and attach it. I'm gonna take a third layer of scrapbook paper, cut that one even smaller so again, each layer you can see the one below it and then I'm going to take some paper that's like red that doesn't have a pattern on it and I couldn't get one whole piece that was long enough so I put two together and I did the same thing scrape the edges I glued that on there and now I'm going to take some black paint from Waverly which is called ink and I'm going to do all the edges I could have used a marker and I didn't think of that till after the fact but you could do that too then I am going to use a marker. <laughs> That's when I thought of it. And I'm going to figure out where the center of the word welcome is and start there. And then I'm going to write my letters. Try to do a little bit of kind of like a ready done font, but by hand. And then I'm going to make a little swirly design on each side, kind of how a ladybug might be flying. And I found a little teeny ladybug when I was cleaning out under my stove. I don't even know where it came from, but I cleaned it up and I am hot gluing it right on there. And it was perfect. It was like this was meant to be. And now, Back to the original DIY, I'm going to hot glue that sign right to the center of the ladybug wreath. And I just think this came out so cute. I hope you guys like it. Definitely let me know. Did you know that I'm on social media? You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Same name, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. Come on over and say hi. 
going to take another piece from that 3D wreath from the Dollar Tree and these patriotic straws from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to first take some jute twine and I'm going to wrap it all the way around this ring and hot glue it every so often because I need something for everything to stick to. And the metal rings aren't really the best thing to do with hot glue. They just don't stick. And then that little sign in the middle, you're a grand old flag, is also from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to cut out my straws in different shapes because I'm going to come up with a pattern. I'm literally just making up my own pattern, so you could do whatever you want. This is just the pattern that kind of came to me. And now I'm hot gluing that little sign directly onto the jute twine that's wrapped around the ring, and this makes it stay really well. I'm going to start attaching the straws in a pattern. About midway down the Your Grand Old Flag sign, I'm going to do something else across the top. But what I'm doing is taking a small blue, a large blue, and then a small blue, and then the same thing with the red, and alternating every three. That's the pattern I kind of came up with. Now, once I get this all the way around, I do go back and fill in. Now that that initial pattern is established, I still have gaps in there, so I go back over the top with the opposite color that's underneath it. And again, this was just a pattern that I kind of was making up as I was going, and I liked it. And then I cut some of the red straws to cover where the straws all meet at the edges, and I kind of cut them at an angle so they would meet at a point, and also down in the bottom corners there. And I just stopped it where the straws ended. I didn't go up and around the entire sign, because what I'm going to do there is I'm going to take some red and white carnations that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to trim them down and then I'm going to hot glue them to the jute twine but I don't feel like that's secure enough and I didn't have any floor wire. I took some jute twine and I reached around front and I tied a little knot for each flower that I added and that really held them secure and I added a little more hot glue. This wreath was so easy and inexpensive, all Dollar Tree. You guys will have to tell me what you think. I think it's super cute and patriotic. And now for one last look at all three of the wreaths that I did for Wreath Wednesday with DIY with Nadia. You guys, I loved making these. They were so much fun. My favorite is definitely the one with the denim, but then I love the, the ladybugs and the patriotic one. One's going to go to my mom for sure. Not, I don't know what I'm going to do with the third one. But anyway, I love them. I hope you guys really do like them. And be sure to let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments and why. Why is it your favorite? I'd love to know. Don't forget to go visit DIY with Nadia and Coffee with Nadia. And I do want to let you guys know that I'm only going to be doing one video a week for the next couple months, occasionally two, because I'm going to be having surgery and I've got to go through a recovery and I'm not sure how I will be feeling. I just want to give you a heads up on that. I will still be here though for sure once a week. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the time that you take to watch my videos. It means so much. I will hope to see you in my next video and please remember that you are a blessing to me.